Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 27871. This is a more interesting build for the Canary channel compared to the previous build. So in this video, of course, we're going to talk about everything that is new, changed, and fixed in this latest build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is announcing that Energy Saver is now available in Microsoft Intune and this also means that you can find the energy saver settings inside the group policy editor. If you go to administrative templates under computer configuration then system and scroll down to power management and then energy saver settings you're going to have these three settings that you can customize if you want. Related to phone link and the phone sidebar in the start menu Microsoft is adding a few improvements for example you can now instantly see notifications from your mobile device apps grouped by app or easy catch up right from your start menu. You can mirror your Android devices screen with a single click from your start menu. Simply click on your device's icon or access the option from the footer menu to quickly launch device screen mirroring. And also your iPhone memories are now accessible from the start menu. iCloud for Windows users can see the recently synced photos and quickly access their iCloud photos all within the start menu. I think these are some great improvements. Related to the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft will add certain changes to the taskbar buttons for apps that require attention. So for example, if you have an app, let's say for example, Discord, Microsoft Teams, or anything like that, we're going to notice on the taskbar this new icon that will appear for these types of apps that require attention. Also inside settings, if we go to accessibility and then mouse pointer and touch, if you go to customize pointer image, you'll see that now the name of each pointer image is below it and also a reset button is added below. So this was discovered by Phantom Overth on Twitter, a huge shout out to him. Other than that, we have a lot of fixes in this build. For example, a general fix, Microsoft mitigated the issue where if virtualization based security is enabled, applications dependent on virtualization, such as VMware Workstation, would lose the ability to run unless the Windows hypervisor platform from the Windows optional components was installed on the system. Related to the File Explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue where if you had disconnected network drives when doing a search from home, it might prevent searches from executing and you remain on home. And they also fixed an issue where tapping the View button in File Explorer with Touch would crash File Explorer. Related to the Taskbar, Microsoft fixed the issue where Windows Plus Control Plus Number wasn't working anymore for switching windows in the taskbar, fix an underlying issue which was causing keyboard focus to get set to widgets in the taskbar on login which could make widgets unexpectedly invoke, and also fix an issue where when using tab and shift plus tab to move keyboard focus around the taskbar, where if keyboard focus went backwards at least once you could get keyboard focus stuck on the taskbar frame causing some screen readers to just say pain. Related to the settings app, Microsoft is fixing an issue where hovering over the cards at the top of settings, system, and then about wasn't showing the correct corner radius. And they also fixed an issue where the storage card and settings system and about showed a garbage character instead of the proper disk size. Related to administrator protection, Microsoft fixed an issue where when using administrator protection, some apps might not follow your preference if it was set to dark mode. Related to the task manager, Microsoft fixed an issue causing search and other options such as filtering to not work. Related to audio, they fixed an issue in the last few Canary flights where audio devices with high sampling like 192 hertz and multiple channels weren't producing sound. And they also fixed an issue which could cause the startup sound to not play, though it was enabled. Related to input, Microsoft fixed an issue where voice typing wouldn't start from the touch keyboard when using the Chinese narrow layout, and they also fixed an issue where when using the symbol section of the touch keyboard, pressing the key to change pages might unexpectedly insert a character into password fields. Related to graphics, they fixed an issue which could cause unexpected scaling and window positioning changes after sleep slash resume for some devices. Related to voice access, they fixed an issue which could cause voice access to freeze with error working on it when dictating, and also some other fixes, fix an issue causing an administrative templates error message when opening group policy editor. Unfortunately, this is not fixed because as you can see, if I open the group policy editor, it still shows it. If I click on X, it shows up the second time and so on. So I think this is not fixed properly. They also fix an issue where some of the commands using XML to set up were unexpectedly not being run. They also fix an issue where when installing Windows from installation media, where if you change your keyboard layout from the default, it may still use the default when entering the product key and also fix an issue when installing Windows from installation media where certain partitions may show an extremely large erroneous size. So this is the latest build for the Canary channel, the build 27871. For more information, of course, you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your manager from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.